Hi and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so we're playing Vampire again, and we're I'm um, where I left off, which is in the morgue, because we're going to get some supplies, basically, some medicine. Uh, there's going to be a point, not now, but um, in the future couple of episodes down the way once I unlock most of the areas I'll probably explore pick up the collectibles and uh, just at the start of the the episode then I'll go through what collect what what stuff I've picked up basically and, uh, just so you can all read it not a huge fan of the morgue well no I like the morgue just downstairs is a bit frustrating so it is no it's not a bit frustrating it's quite frustrating uh, anyone who's played on a, a harder difficulty will know exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> I cannot enter Oh no! Wait, wasn't I able to enter before? I could have sworn I was. Did I have to pick up the key off of this guy or somebody else? Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate and that might prove itself useful. Mind, oh, it's it's so useful for crafting what I need. <clears throat> Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Sorry to Must be the same snap. strain. The sickness moves faster than influenza. Ooh, cigarettes. It's locked. Maybe it's on the uh, the top floor. I honestly can't remember. It's been a while since I've uh, I've been in the morgue. Look at that. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Up oh, there we go. Uh, don't think there's much else here. It's locked, all right. Obviously, go upstairs first. I don't think there's much up here, just a vampire. Or that ferrous tartrate. Downstairs? I wonder how many people jump at that. It's not bad to be honest. <laughs> These scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Okay, so as I've mentioned earlier, I've I've played this on the harder difficulty already. Usually there's two in this room. I'm doing it on story mode this time though because fuck that, I just want to kill everybody in this game and do it quickly and easily. So usually there's two in that room and then there's about two in this room. And then there should have been another one in this room that would come out then. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite, uh, tasking, so it is. There's another one then as well, somewhere. Oh, useless in my fam. No, thank you. It's locked. And then you'd be looking at something like 
six vampires attacking you all at once. And it's just a pain in the fucking ass though it is. So I would just I just wanted a nice relaxing time on the stream this time. So I'm not cursing my brains out. Oh, there's one. If you want to see me cursing my brains out, Dying Light 2 is coming up. And uh, Horizon, whatever the new game is, is coming up. And Elden Ring is coming up. And I'm probably going to be cursing my brains out for those. How do I do this again? I should be able to examine it. Oh. Mr. Connor's injuries. Oh, just so you can pause and read it. Don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Oh, you better. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Intriguing. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Also intriguing. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Less intriguing. <laughs> a puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. No comment. Signs of internal bleeding. So... Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, <gasps> causing the patient's death. No. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. Oh, very egregious. It's time we talked. Dr. Tippett. It's like as if you're operating tired on this poor chap. And, uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a boss fight, but I'm not going to be scared. Come at me, bro. Wow, the difference between this and the... Maybe I should turn the difficulty up, actually. Is there a way to do that, I wonder? Because look at the damage difference. Wow, okay, I've made a huge mistake. Be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. <sighs> to drink blood is so tempting. Oh, you've no idea. You're going to be drinking so much blood in this, my friend. So much. There must be a way I can... Hold on. I need to change the diff... That's super weak-like. Gameplay. I can't, can I? I'm not restarting, like, but... Fucking hell, he hit me twice. Look at my health. Barely did anything. I thought the difference was gonna be like a little different. Not nah. Jesus, I could go into combat and I could like I could survive anything. I'm sorry everyone. <laughs> I can't believe I'm apologizing for picking a difficulty. I honestly thought story mode would still be a little bit more, a little bit challenging, but like the difference would be maybe a small amount. The, the difference is a huge amount. Like, I had a lot of trouble with this boss, but then again, I also didn't come in here at level nine, so I came in at level level three. Sodium I think hypochlorite, it was. dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Wow, how how disappointing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Me. Okay, so we know that someone has fatigue, so we need to create that. Oh yeah, because that's part of the quest, isn't it? Jeez, I forgot about that. 
bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. You're not my manager. No, but really, that was that was super weak. I think it, maybe part of it is that I'm level nine. What the fuck? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! That god. <laughs> How long was he standing there? Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, out I go. Could have left through one of the other items, to be honest, but Yeah, so now I think now I think Dorothy Crane's gonna move up to the next town. Which is good because I'll be able to continue up there then as well, continue some of the dialogues and getting to know people and everything like that. So, bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane. Hopefully, she doesn't notice that several people are missing. <laughs> Hopefully. Wait, wasn't there? Oh no, I think I have to get into Dr. Swansea's office for, um, you know, I'm gonna go down here. There's a, I, I, I really wanna test the, the difficulty on this, so. There should be a couple of guys in here. Uh, oops. Sorry, Ryan, right. I honestly did not mean that. Oh, I have upgraded my stamina, actually, so that's why I'm able to do a few hits. Okay. Geez, I've even forgotten what upgrades I've done. And after you sleep as well, the people, they regenerate the people around the place. So I'll just keep that in mind. I really need to explore this area a bit more. And as I say that, I do not do it. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna need too much medicine, to be honest. Um, because I'm going to be killing everybody eventually. I just need them to be nice and healthy when I kill them. But the amount that I'm gonna need to use each time is gonna get a lot. That's so positive. So like, I have one person to heal now. I'm not gonna rest for a short bit. For a wee bit, sorry. And um, whenever I do rest, he'll be healthy and a few other people are gonna get sick. All right, so this is a boss fight. Let's see how... Uh, The damage I'm doing is so much higher. Like this guy caused me so many fucking problems. So many problems. Opium is one of the main ingredients. It's oh. Strickland's medication. Oh. Never a good move. No, never a good move. Not sure I'd uh, I'd be trusting Doctor Strickland now. I, I don't trust Dr. Strickland. I think Dr. Strickland is a, a poor doctor. He's got a, his, his head up his arse, so to speak. That's just my opinion. Right, yeah, so this, this is really not going to be a very 
challenging. <laughs> this is not going to be a very challenging run. I guess it's okay. I don't have to to worry or stress or anything like that. I can just kind of chill and play. He's on to us. <laughs> You'll never take me alive, doctor. Oh, lovely trash cans. Gotta love trash cans. I mean, if that isn't, you know, kind of sus, you know, you see a very poshly dressed doctor going through trash cans. <laughs> you know, I don't know what is very suspicious other than that. Right, get your ass moving. So I should have some ta some dialogue with Dr. Tippett. Good evening, Doc. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Good news? Why, yes, I found that dead body. Corcoran, <laughs> I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? Corcoran, not he Corcoran. He died because Corcoran of my Corcoran mistake. Corcoran sounds like some kind of That's Pokemon. That's the truth. Corcoran. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a two-fold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered Corcoran dosage was too strong. Bad medical practices. Corcoran. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. Murderer. I have so many lives since then. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe it a was your sister. I had no time to talk with him. Dressed as a man from no the docks. No one claimed a body. I'm pretty sure the uh, the other doctor then was probably going through his pockets at some point, since nobody claimed the body. Goodbye, Doctor Tip. Bye bye, Tippets. Right, where is Brannigan, aka the person who vouches for you at every step of the way? Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. And probably Good one evening, of the last doctor. people in this that's going to die because she's a mesmerized level five. Whoa, look at all these hints that I Why unlocked. does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke <clears throat> years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's that did. gender doesn't matter. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. Bum, bum, you can't bum. allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look True. around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? You say that, but it's going to... It's going to, to happen. Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind well, you that's that right. man One... died? Oh, shit, you that's mean what you've I never made a time. mistake? Never covered your tracks? What? Me? On, no. Doctor. There's I not a dead body in the mistake. hospital from someone who's got bite wounds. No, 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 no. Tell me, Nurse. Did no, you know no, no, Dr. No, no. Tippett's was addicted to medication? I There's suspected that this dead guy called for some Clive time, Cox down in the never the dared to down ask him no, about no, no. it. Until the day he confessed to me. <gasps> Why would he confess to you about his addiction, Nurse Brannigan? Don't you know you doctors can't hide anything from a nurse? We're always there. Watching. Even if you don't notice us. Like Do you consider vampire. yourselves our confessors, Nurse Brannigan? I wouldn't dare, Dr. Reed. But I'm intrigued. How did you discover Dr. Tippett's secret? What can I'm I say? Spying on you. I seem to have a knack for discovering on him. Sorry. And for hiding them as well. What's that supposed to mean, Nurse Brannigan? Do you approve of his addiction? Of course I don't approve. But I understand he needs it to fight the exhaustion. Let's hope he'll stop injecting himself once the epidemic is over. And what if he doesn't? Then we'll have to convince him to stop. I believe he's still in control of his addiction, for now. 
but we must remain vigilant. I know how to stop them from, ta from taking these medications. Um, it's quite easy. I'm just going to bite them. Goodbye, Nerd. Now, I had an option there to not reveal it or whatever, but I think I actually have to say it to him. Because I think I lost to him Don't last to time because of something like that. Hold on, hold on. Right, still hints. Okay. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbets, <clears throat> by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I, I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Uh, you're not going to get the chance to do that because, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're not going to be alive. <laughs> what will you do after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always going to fancy buy a visiting boat. Cyprus. Oh, Cyprus, Such a lovely. beautiful island. I could buy a house there by the sea. I was actually Read not far off. And wait for death. I actually was not far off. Goodbye, Doc. <laughs> I was going to say, like, buy a boat and go to some nice sunny place. Pretty Good close. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening. He's going to buy a house. And go to a nice sunny place. Goodbye. Cyprus. Lovely. So there's still a hint. Wait, do they actually have hints or is it just dialogue? Oh, she has one hint left. So I gotta get her hint. When did she get a migraine? Oh, Thelma. Uh, I still have a hint for him. At least two are done. He's got two. They both have two, so that'll be resolved uh, later. He still has one. Right. It's mostly the hints rather than just the dialogue that I'm going after. So I need a migraine one as well. Talk to you first. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. <laughs> are you really? Really? You're you're busy, are you? You you Thank there, you. you're you're busy, yeah. Yeah, my ears are busy. Good evening, Dr. And good evening to oh, Okay, you're I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium, sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. It's dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. I want to know about these secret tests you run. And if they can save people from this epidemic, speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound speak presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague, but only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. Um... You can't be serious. You have to stop this before you lose yourself. Lives are at stake here, remember? I'm a competent doctor and my value has been proven already. Frankly, I'm disappointed to hear you, above all, speaking so ill of me. 
Uh, I kind of figured that that one didn't matter, so I have two hints here. Oh no, I only have one hint to unlock with him, actually. Goodbye. Don't I? And I'd say that's probably once I crash. I can't let yeah. Strickland. I'm quite busy. Oh, he was gonna say something there. Damn it! Do you think Dr. Strickland has any chance of curing the Spanish flu by himself? His wish to no. cure the sick is not driven by pride, but by an idealistic view about our mission here. Honestly, I don't know which is worse. You consider him a good practitioner, yet you will not report his methods. Strickland may be a rival, but I will not use dirty tricks or regulations to prove him wrong. We are doctors, not politicians. Not politicians. All right, so he's got a... I think he has one hint left then, or... Thank you. Was that hint for Strickland? I didn't see. Yeah, they both have one left. Wait, where did Strickland go? Hello, Nurse Crane. Good evening, Doctor. And good evening. Did you know Dr. Aykroyd never reported your experimental research, despite the fact he doesn't agree with it? Really? I didn't suspect he knew about my work. I must confess I am surprised. Perhaps he thinks you should realize for yourself the danger of what you're doing. See how condescending he can be? My god, he can be so irritating. Yeah, he's the one that's being irritating right now. Goodbye. He's the one. Well, he can be irritating, I'll, I'll give you that, but I mean, come on. Come on. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, cards. Doctor. The now, spoiled this patient here needs immediate treatment. Now, I think. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. Wait, there's a storm? When you finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his what office. Storm? He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Right. So now I can get... Dorothy, get out of the way, Dorothy. God damn it. Right. Good evening, Mr. I'm okay. I know you're okay. Uh, okay, so then uh, you just press. Do you need any help? R1. I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, medicine. sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. I have to go. I'm alright. Did I get all of his hints, or am I still missing something? I'm still missing one, so it's between him and his mother. Good evening, Doctor. He's going to die, unfortunately. So she Good doesn't bite. have the hint. Good evening, God, Doctor. I did not mean How that. Good Can bite. you stop standing so close to me? Good evening, Mr. Goswell. I'm okay. I've already spied on them. How do I get his final I hint again? Oh, it's in the... Doctor. Yeah, I have to go talk to Dr. Strick... Why, not Strickland. Upstairs. Agenda, There's a note upstairs in uh, Swansea's room. Yeah, yeah, and I, I know all about the massive XP boost. I've already uh, availed of that. I need to give her the migra migraine medicine as well. Was the chap? There's also supposed to be another person that will appear on the docks and give me a quest. Because I think quest-wise, I'm kind of doing. Yeah, I only have this one here. Oh, there we go. Might as well track that. What are you doing so far out? I didn't think that he did come back all this way. Ah, he is here. You've got to death so many times. You can't just die like this. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I'm a Blight. I've lost my mate. What? Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan oh, Reed no. from the Pembroke Hospital. Please, calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... 
But we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Rats? You can't stand mm, them since the delicious. water. I mean, can't what? stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment. Is his last so name Cobblepot? Taken care of each other since we came back from the front. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. So you were hanging Treat around a, around the sewers. Get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. Ah, uh, We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Right, I'm actually going to follow that quest. Wait, don't I have a quest? I thought I had a I would I was gonna have a quest from this one. I'm so confused. Wow, so she actually had that was a second quest from her? Uh, she says, which sewer do I find him in? I can't remember now. Because I'd prefer to find him earlier rather than later. Ah, uh, I think I know which sewer is. Yeah. Alright, so. Let's go save your buddy. Uh, I kind of wish he could pick up the pace some other time, though. Slowly does it now, Doctor. Patience is a virtue. I go the right way. I think it was... Yeah, it's over here. I think there's a little sewer area here. I think that's the one. The bin. Nice. Oh, small bag of junk. Nice. Why? Well, wait, why am I facing that way? Oh, okay. I am not going the right direction. <laughs> oh, lots of rats. Your man would not do well around here. Oh, nice. Five shillings. Five shillings back then, by the way, was a lot of money. So I think a shotgun, an open shotgun for 300 is uh, kind of overpriced. Ooh, look at all the you people around here. Level 15 too, wow. We have to stop it! Seriously, the amount of damage they do is so much less. I didn't think it would be that much. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed for playing this on an easier mode now. I don't know if it's worse that you actually thought that you could beat me up by yourself. So I think it's in this sewer. It's okay, Mr. Thatcher, I'm coming to save you. 
Oh, but the problem is that after I save him, I actually have to rest as well, because he won't be in the uh, he won't be in the right location. Right. I think this is the sewer that he's in anyway. I'm not sure. I think there's other sewers and stuff, but. Oh, I hear I pressed the wrong button. Ah, I was trying to use my smoke attack. Actually, this might not be the sewer that he's in. Oh, I don't think it is actually. We'll see, we'll see, but. I'll have to come down here as well anyway. But remember I had to go down to that sewer. Anyway, at some point. But he'll be somewhere and I'll have to save him. I know that doesn't sound too specific, but... Pacific or specific? Sorry, it's late and I'm I'm a little bit tired, but I should be la able to last uh, a few hours for a stream here. Die, skulls! Die! Have fun with that. God damn! That other one. He got absolutely wiped out by that. I feel so overpowered. <laughs> oh, and I'm not supposed to. This is supposed to be, like, quite difficult, really. That's where I came from. From... Yeah, I'm getting the impression it's not this sewer. Honestly, I can't really remember what sewer it is. But I, do, I, I assume that I would have been hearing his, uh... Oh! Oh, he was well hidden. I don't know if that's because of the, um... The lack of brightness on my own screen or whether he actually was hidden in the dark. So that's the exit. This is the only other place to go. Oh, one of these is up here? Well, that's not good. Uh... <laughs> So oh, much more fucking easier. God damn it! I've made a, I've made a horrible mistake. I mean, I, I would have at least liked a little bit more of a challenge to be, if I'm honest. Open the the chest in the middle of the room to get a. This is the pills. Braille. I need someone who can read. Braille. I can't this. read that. Yeah, I won't be able to. I cannot enter. Oh, rec oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the code for the. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, so it's definitely not this sewer. I've got my sewers mixed up. I do want to find him. I cannot remember for the life of me which sewer he's in, though. Or really where the sewers are. Oh, it's... I think it's on the other side, isn't it? Or is it? Or was it across the way? It might have been across the way. Not across here, but... 
show you because I'm going probably there now. There's no rush really. Well, there is kind of a rush because I want to get him found before I take my next nap. Yoink. It's locked, all right. Yeah, I won't be able to open that now. Huh? What? That was the first thing you sent to me. You said to me. What? Who's vermin? Where's vermin? Why vermin? I do like that shadow slip. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I might as well see if I can craft migraine. Oh! Damn it. I have to progress a little bit more in the story, I think, to get that one. Oh no, because I could get it from the cemetery. Should I go to the cemetery and get it, or... Oh yeah, okay, I'll go to the cemetery first. I'll get the migraine medication, and uh, then I will continue what the hell I was doing. Which was pretty aimless, if I'm being honest. Sounds like someone's in here. Hell yeah. I just wanted to take your temperature. But you had to go in a, and... Well, you didn't really attack me. You more just... Growled and snarled at me. But still, still counts. And voila, we are in the cemetery. Get over here, rat. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Why target that one? <clears throat> well, I guess since the difficulty is much easier, I won't have to stress out about one major annoyance in this game. And it's a kind of a design flaw, basically. So what happens is, when you die, you lose your blood. So you see I have this blood bar on the top left. When you die, that goes, but all the enemies everywhere respawn. So if you're in a boss, fa boss fight, which has happened to me, and you die in said boss fight, Oh, interesting. So he's already been buried. Nice. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, if you um, if you're in a boss fight, and there's a certain boss fight later on that you go in that you can't really get out from, and you die in said boss fight, and it's a very difficult boss fight, mind you, as well. Um. Then the next time when you respawn and you have to go back into the fight straight away, well, you, you know, you have no blood. And there's no rats or anything you can feed off of that will give you the blood back. You're just stuck. Oh, well, there's Thomas Elwood's one. Interesting. I didn't know their tombstones would be there, but I guess uh, I guess they're not going to leave dead bodies lying around <laughs> in the hospital, are they? Although I'm quite surprised that they found uh, Clay Cox's body. I didn't think anybody would go down into the sewer. Um, 
I honestly, I can't remember where exactly this is supposed to be. I think up there. It might be up there anyway, I'm gonna check. There should be like a body that you can loot and that'll have it. Doesn't look like it's up here. of looking for stuff. Why would the auto target go to that guy? That guy all the way over there. I don't even fucking try and at the moment. I don't I don't care about getting hit because it's doing so little damage. Like really, really, really low amounts of damage here. I wasn't expecting it to be that low. Kinda feel a bit shitty about it to be honest. Oh, was that not the body? Oh yeah, I gotta save her. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. I'll I'll be with you in a second. Somebody help! Just ignore the fact that I uh, I just used that ability. Um, who who did that? It wasn't me. I'm not a vampire. Hello. Hello. Are you all right, Miss? I I don't know. Who were those people? They, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They were lost their ah, minds in muggers. the epidemic. That's what they were. They muggers. won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am I'm a vampire. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. You're in the cemetery. Money and it's locked, all right. Oh, I wonder if that's Shao Shun's then. Actually, I need to find Thomas Elwood's one as well because he surely has a uh, a box of hidden loot somewhere. I haven't really looked around for it. Right, hold on. Let me try to remember because I got it this way as well. I think it's up. Here. So I think I was going the right way this way, but I didn't go far enough. I didn't explore it properly. Yeah, that's that's also very likely. No. Should be like a, a a dead body somewhere, and that's where you get it. And it should be on this side of the thing. Oh Jesus! Is it in here? Ah, hello there. A strange formula. That strange formula, good sir, is for migraines. 
All right, back to my other quest. My other quest being the uh, search for uh, Mr. Thatcher, wasn't it? The person's name, yeah. Mr. Thatcher. Something over here? Nope. There is something here though. Yank, give me those five shillings. Delightful. That's just a tombstone. There. Uh, the good news is um, she won't be there and the next one should be uh, I'll be able to interact with her properly the next time. Uh, she'll be by her husband's grave. Uh, but I have to wait until I actually sleep to be able to do that. Uh, this one. Alright, oh I got something else actually. Nice. And brisk blood sample. So there's my grain. There we go. I think she's ill with something as well, isn't she? No. Uh, both the Palmers, though, have fucking fatigue and migraine. God damn you. Migraine. And fatigue. <laughs> In my initial playthrough. There's a, um, a lady of the night, if you will, prostitute, and um, she had fatigue, and literally everybody else, like there was about six other guys in that area, and they all had fatigue as well. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of funny. <clears throat> I wonder if that would be the same here, because I haven't, I haven't met her yet. Something up there? Did I not go in there? Oh, I don't think I was in here. I'm not even 100% sure if I was here in my first playthrough. Oops. No, I was here in my first playthrough. I remember it now. Okay, which way is back to the hospital? Because I am lost. Is... No place for you, sir. I'll be back for you in a little bit. You just stay right there. I think I got away lucky that I, I'm not really after him right now. I'm not looking to go up to that direction. I think... Still, the only quest is that quest. Pretty much everything else there has been done. sure if there's a sewer here or not. But I'm having a look. Because I would like to get this one sorted. I don't think this is the place. I think it's on the other side. I like as well how I'm just after teleporting over here and your man he doesn't even notice. This is completely unaware. Be the other way. Of 
Come on, Jonathan. Run, run a little bit faster. Ooh, a box. Yink. I cannot this? enter. No, that's just locked. Okay. Or maybe I have to complete the next part with Nurse Crane. So I can go into Swansea's office, maybe. I don't think so. I think I should be able to go around this way. There we go. Whee! What the speed on that, huh? Right, this should lead me down that way. Ooh, perfume. Nice. As well, on my, uh, on my first playthrough, one thing I made a mistake of was, uh, I equipped the shotgun thinking that it's great from the start. And, uh, I bought loads of shotgun ammo with my, uh... Oh, shit. This guy is, like, fucking stronger than a boss. <laughs> I bought loads and loads of shotgun ammo thinking that it was the... You know, the best option for... The best bang for my book, so to speak. Oh, how I was wrong. Do not... Early in the game, by shotgun ammo. It's locked. Mm, that could be where he is. Give me the key to the sewer. Jeez, that guy was only level five. I pity the fool. I cannot enter. Why are these locked? Is there like one, another, an, an actual entrance somewhere? Here maybe? No. A large knife. This is an impressive knife. There's a name engraved on the metal. Clay. What kind of man puts his name on a knife? A dead man, that's <laughs> you. Oh really, like, can I actually do anything with that knife or is it... Okay, so yeah, the quest just doesn't show up. That's true. I must need to, to do the Nurse Crane thing that, well, go into Dr. Swansea's office. <clears throat> kind of kind of weird. I thought they'd let me do that. Unless there's like a key to the sewers that I've missed somewhere, but I don't think that's the case. Down here very quickly. Ow. Ah, you didn't you didn't expect the old t uh, shadow attack sneak behind you maneuver. I need to think of a better name for it. Really, really need to think of a better name for it. Yeah, not a... Not a whole lot going on here. I think it must have to do with I have to go into... Swansea's office for the next part of it. Unfortunately.
making the time of getting back to Swanson's office, though. That's the, the positive thing. And I don't want to level up just yet. I don't see a point to it, and there's still a lot of people in the, the northern district that I need to cure. Was there rubbish there? No? Drafts. Thought I saw something shiny there, too. Out of the way, Brannigan. Or shall I call you Nurse Brannigan? I don't know, I wasn't meaning for that to sound in any way offensive. You ain't gonna open all of this lovely stuff. It's locked, all right. Or is it locked all left? Mm. Indubitably. Strickland's project could be dangerous. I have a mind to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. I probably will be reporting him to Dr. Ackroyd on this playthrough as well, because I don't like him. <laughs> cool. um, Please, Jonathan, come in. What is up with you and holding that skull? Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. What have you been doing with the that skull? The more we skull? explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would vertiginous. say. Vertiginous. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swanson. But my condition defies scientific no categorization. Idea. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. I'm a living there is paradox. There's poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please. Call me I didn't actually expect that, but okay. Uh, we need each other. That sounds too flirty. This is not amusing. No need to apologize. I said this is not amusing the last time, so I'm going to go with There's no, no need, need to, to apologize. apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. I Please. need you to make me a Go slice on. of toast and a cup the of tea. The Pembroke cheese. only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Uh, Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not I my call. I was calling. close. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. She sounds like a and bitch. And you would like me not to black eradicate mayor, but this her. threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Oh, just pay her, her a visit, okay. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside. So I don't need to resolve it, I just need to her. visit her. Look okay. for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Yeah, I'm not gonna help Lady Ashbury. I don't like Lady Ashbury. I don't like being forced into you know, romance options and stuff that I don't particularly want. Oh, there's, uh... There's the last one for him. 
Booyah! Booyah! Rare species of vampires. Oh, I give everybody a little read of that. And then down there. That should be enough. Oh, a warning letter. Ooh. There you go. And that's for Dr. Strickland. Strictly speaking. That was it, wasn't it? There's nothing else in here. I think that's it. All right, time to get out of your hair. Go down there. Oh yeah, I should probably heal, um... What's your face? You, yeah? Good evening, Miss Howcroft. I'm glad to see you safe and back at the Pembroke. Mm, and I'm glad to meet you too, mortal. I see things much more clearly since I escaped those hunters. And that includes you, Jonathan. What is that supposed to mean? Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? My condition cannot be understood by you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Get the fucking take your migraine until medicine. Until the day science finally admits failure, please accept this little contribution. Thank you, Doctor. Judging by the look in your eyes, there is something you want to ask me, Miss Howcroft. Listen to my voice, Jonathan. You can't refuse to answer my questions. Speak now. Tell me about you and that fancy red-headed lady. You mean Lady Ashbury? What about her? Don't resist me. Answer now, Doctor. What's really going on between you two? Not sure if I can trust her. There's nothing at all. Just like this, this. Look at, look at this. Look at this bullshit. I love her. <laughs> Fucking hell. Not sure if I can trust her. It's complicated. She's so secretive. I'm not sure I can really trust her. Now, Jonathan. I want you to forget we had this little conversation. This is interesting you can get because back to what you were doing. I never got this dialogue with her before. So... And what exactly have you learned about me? You try to be a decent man, Dr. Reed. And you're trying to make a difference. That's more than most mortals I've ever met. That's quite a statement, Miss Howcroft. Yeah, I've there not had anything to do with people missing. No, no, no. Your interest for my condition. Your subtle innuendos. Are you... Are we the same, Doctor? <gasps> oh, she knows. I wish I could be like you. One vampire in this hospital is enough. I'm far worse than you. Wow. I wish Trust I could be me, like Thelma. you. I really wish I could be your kind of vampire. But I am not. For once, I sense real honesty in your voice, Dr. Reed. I've been fucking honest before. What Somehow are you saying? that frightens me. Ooh, you should be frightened because you you're about Thomas's one of the death. next people on the list. Mm. Every night. I did not want to kill him. I liked him. And now those hunters want me dead. You're no murderer, trust me. Only a fool would believe otherwise. How long before other mortals start hunting me? As always, blood is the only price I'd for blood. I'd be worried about the immortal. You're safe as long as you stay here. Those people who hunted you have learned their lesson. I can assure you. These walls will not protect me, Doctor. They will never forget the crime I've done. And nor will I. You are a patient here, Miss Howcroft. Someone with real needs who deserves peace and treatment. I will protect you. Don't be ridiculous, Doctor. How could a mortal carry all the pain of the world on his shoulders? I should be far more cautious. Oh, so that's how you get her to admit that she should be more cautious. Have you heard of any blackmailing going on within these walls? I have no time for mortal games. My secrets are beyond their comprehension, Dr. Reed. I'll leave you. I wonder what your last thoughts would be, sir. Hello again. Goodbye, well, Mr. Ham. Looks like I can't ask you about the blackmailing going on in these... Ooh, what's this? Yeah. 
Yeah, not, not, nothing too exciting. Good evening, How are you, Nestle. Pippa? Good evening, Dr. Reed. Oh, Goodbye. Can't ask her about the blackmailing. Ah, well, Pippa. Oh, that's probably because you're bribing people. Yeah. Yeah. Right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Dr. Strickland, I good need evening, to have a Doctor word. Good with evening you. to you, Dr. Reed. Have you heard any talk of blackmail going on in the hospital? If you're running some official inquiry, you had better question the patients. They know more than the staff. <laughs> I like how in Especially the background, Nurse Crane Jones. is just watching me. Oh, she knows something. Tell me, Thoreau. What's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Aykroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Aykroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Oh, is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Aykroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Uh huh. Goodbye. I'm all right. You don't to... waste your time with me. How do you I get your hint to again? Calm the children, Wait, what's that? What? There was a fucking a thing where. Good evening. I'm okay. Have you heard room? No. No. Just no. I have. What was his one again? There was time with me. definitely something evening, somewhere. Have you heard room? Dr. Reed, are you trying to take advantage of me? Of course not, Mrs. Goswick. I'm just curious. Well, go be curious somewhere else, please. Goodbye, Mrs. Go... Bye-bye. Where was his? I'm gonna have to Google that and find out where it is. What about... What about... Oh, hold on. Is this... Good evening, Aykroyd. Dr. Strickland. Good e now. Goodbye. Dr. Reed, may I? What can you tell me about the epidemic, Nurse Crane? I've been out of touch since I've come back to England. Oh, there he is. Everyday folk don't know how bad it is. The papers certainly won't tell them. Not as long as the war is raging on, anyway. News on the front stated that the Spanish flu was under control, at least in Britain. It seemed to be for a while, but that was only last summer. It returned with a vengeance just over a month ago. Uh, and what can you tell me about our patients? Reality, what Pembroke. happened was, I think it was a, this hospital an American was founded soldier to help the East poor and needy. traveled to but Britain since the war after and spending the time in we've had Spain. All manner of folk. He contracted a more specific? stronger version well, of the virus, veterans, and it spread the elderly, like dock workers. really, really badly. We even have a few mental patients. So that was the second space, wave of we the take Spanish them. flu. For how long have you been working here, Nurse Crane? Two weeks. I first volunteered at the Pembroke in 1911, a few months after Dr. Swansea was appointed. And before you arrived here? I was here, close. If you must know, this was my first job. Well, Dr. Swansea certainly has confidence in your abilities. Are you in charge of the nursing staff? Not in an official capacity. But the Pembroke doesn't always work above board, so to speak. There's something I just need to check. What about medical protocols? Dr. Reed. We don't have the money and resources here at the Pembroke like they do in the West End. We do what we can. How is the duty roster organized? Everybody works until they can't. If there's time, they'll eat a meal and shed a silent tear. Oh, my Lucas it's coming tomorrow. Yay! They sent me the wrong, uh, I'll see you later. the wrong order, but they let me keep the order, and they're delivering a, uh, a new batch. Uh, I, I like the orange. I'm one. quite busy right now, Doctor Reed. It's delicious. What's with this angle? <laughs> nope, nothing there. Oh, nothing there. 
Have you heard about any blackmail going on in this hospital? Blackmail? Nonsense. <laughs> That's it? Wow, okay. I know that you're a busy man, but I could use your help and advice. The great Dr. Reed honors me with a request. What is it exactly? Dr. Strickland devised an experimental drug for the Spanish flu that he asked me to manufacture. You know what I think of fringe medical experimentation? That's exactly why I want you to keep the result, Doctor. I made sure it won't harm anyone, but I'd like you to take care of it. I see. Put it in my cabinet. I'll give you the key. I'll make sure no one uses this medication by mistake. I'll do that. Thank you for your help, Dr. Ackroyd. Thank you for your trust on the matter, Dr. Reed. I'm just reading up about the nurse crying to see what I did previously. Oh, I shouldn't give spoilers, actually. Thank you for I'll go through it when the time comes. Uh, where the feck am I going now? I know that Pembroke will... Wait, what was that? Oh, that's Clive Cox's one. Yeah. We may lack the resources, but we have some of the most. It's upstairs where I deliver this. What was that? I spy with my little eye something beginning with this. It's locked. How dare something be locked? Is I might hold on to this and the quest for now. I actually want to see if I should uh, kill the two. And I don't think I can. Trats. Is it somewhere up here, isn't it? It's locked, all right. For whatever it's locked. Doctor Gosser. Oh, Mortimer. All right. That's for Brannigan. Now that Doctor Ackroyd has been warned, he should make good use of this formula. Yeah, because he's actually a competent doctor. But the thing is, he and Dr. Strickland don't have very much... Oh, they do have a load of time, actually, because they're both level 4. Sugar. Well, I don't have all the hints for Dr. Ackroyd, though. But I did get the, the final hint for Mortimer. More, ma. Or maybe it's something to do. I have to talk with the patient as well. And as I said, there's an awful lot of back and forth. Good evening. Good evening. Have you heard talk of no, nothing? Hmm. Goodbye for now. How Mr. enlightening. How are you, Morton? Good Morty? evening, Mitch. I'm okay. 
I'm gonna call you Morty from, Morty from now on. Your medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients here who need their attention. And there's going to be plenty more. I mean, I what? Have to go Good evening, sir. Doctor. What a Good evening, Doctor. I've read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my poor Mortimer will be neglected. Goodbye, Mrs. Gold. For now. <laughs> uh, sorry for the weird laughter there. Uh... Oh, there we go. I'm quite. I still am missing a hint for you. Thank you. Did I miss something? I'm after. I'm after all the hints. I want the uh, the perfect blood. Good evening and good evening. Oh, you don't seem too happy. Shit, did I fuck up? Goodbye. Baskets. All right, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Wait, I went the wrong way. Good evening, Doctor. Uh huh. Have you had? Pardon me, sir, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Tell me the truth about your appointment as a medic during the war, Rakesh. The regiment administration appointed me by mistake. I had to learn the job on the spot, sir. Very hard, sir. But I rose to the challenge. Do you realize how many soldiers died because of that decision? You should have refused. Yes, sir. I swear I did, sir. But no one listened. When the first wounded arrived, I had to do what I could. It is an unbelievable story, Mr. Chidana. It was a time beyond belief, Dr. Reed. But I'm happy not to deal with the wounded. I prefer caring for the dead now. And stealing from them at the same time. You can't impersonate a doctor. You can't improvise a medical education. People could die at your hands. You're absolutely right, sir. But as a field surgeon, it was more like being a butcher. Do you believe you have really helped these people? My ratings were within the averages of the regiment. I saved lives, Dr. Reed. Does that not say enough about triage and war surgery? I saved the lives of people with colds. Please show Of course. Is that not good enough? Uh, no, he still doesn't have anything that I actually need. The two that I will need are... Um, sodium and phosphorus. Two blue ones. Although I'm not really 100% sure that I'm actually going to need them, so I might just need white phosphorus. A lot of white phosphorus. I wonder where your final hint is. Excuse me, I have to do a bit of digging. Uh, I think I've sorted you out, uh, haven't I? Yeah, Pip is all pipped out. Good. I got something for Branigan though, so... Oh, from that. I'm pretty much stealing from the hospital myself. I think... Yeah, they're all sorted. I still need to find him. They're sorted. They're sorted. Just... Just Dr. Aykroyd. Yeah, he's perfect. Perfect. I'm doing really well, actually. Jesus. I wasn't expecting to... Well, I mean, I googled some stuff at the start, but I've just been kind of... not... Good evening, Nurse Brown. Googling Good it evening. after, so... According to the report I read, 
Your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know when my patient's life is at risk, <laughs> and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is, I'm a woman. I don't see what your gender has to do with your abilities, nurse. Yes, nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no, that's unbecoming conduct. No to Dr. Swansea, so I've, uh, uh, d d Oh wait, you have my have support. Have you heard of Elizabeth Blackwell? She was the first woman listed on the UK medical register. Change is slow, but it will come. And you will always have my support. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. Yes, it should be by your skill. Goodbye. Uh, there should be... I don't think I read it right, I think. Um, there should be a note here. Dr. Swansea's note or something like that. Uh, doesesn't that note to Dr. Swansea. Sometimes it's good to go through all these just to make sure you get everything because even though I've read all of them uh, I did previously as well and for some reason some of the hints didn't get a uh, uh, didn't go through and I was like midway through I think the third area <laughs> and I just got like six hints all at once it was kind of like Jesus Christ. There we go. There's Waverly Ackroyd. Nice one. About friggin' time. Right, so I've gotten the hints for almost everybody now. I'm just missing the two. I'm quite the two being the new people that have arrived. What do you think of Dr. Tippett's opinion of your promotion, Waverly? Tippett is a good practitioner. Maybe just a little too attached to his prestigious position at the Pembroke Hospital. Really? And his dreams of Cyprus. That's exactly his diagnosis of you. A little too eager to get promoted? A little bit too proud? He has the right to think so. But I deserve this promotion. And I don't consider it anything but well earned. Thank you. All right, see you later, Waverly. I won't remember his first name the next time I meet him. Good evening, Doctor. And good evening. Goodbye. I mean, come on, Waverly? Alright, time to get on with it. Oh no, I have to talk to her. All right, come on, let's get on with it. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> Nobody's going to kill you. Don't you worry, old man. Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. How was any of that kind or goddamn sweet? Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem You're surprised. not even looking me in the eye. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent... You're looking at my shoulder. ...to Pembroke Hospital. Stop looking at my You're shoulder. The lady who saved me that night before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. You didn't even Indeed. see her, you just heard her. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Uh, 
I feel played. It seems I'm the butt of a joke. Or pigeon of a con. Dr. Swansea might have told me who I was going to meet. I know you're a man of action, Doctor. But take a moment to contemplate the terrain. In this war, discretion is both weapon and shield. I'm gonna be as rude as possible with you, Lady now. Ashbury. You must have countless questions. But our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Uh, I guess I have to go through the dialogue for people who haven't... Have any of the uh, patients given you trouble? These poor seen souls this. have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. I don't I believe you. I gather you have found an arrangement satisfying both ethical and corporal concerns. I was brought up not to snigger at my own jokes, Dr. Reed. Well, I'm not snickering at my own jokes. I'm snickering at... Uh, Pardon my else. boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions. Someone told me a funny joke earlier. We share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first. Prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Without eating the culprit? Oh. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits oh, coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient I'm just deaths reading about, um, due to massive blood loss. The next pillar in the next location. Um, is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? I was hoping that was a... We both are afflicted with a thirst for blood, Lady Ashbury. Yeah, that is so I'm gonna... With the pillars, by vocation, once you choose your option, you can't mesmerize them afterwards. Logic dictates. Which means I'm gonna have In to do honesty, something I didn't want to do. I'm not simply a patron to, to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. 
You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion. But I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Mm. Like in the music, though. Pom 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 pom. Pom 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 pom. Pom 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 pom. Oswald, you can't just die like this. How do you open this right. fucking gate? Ooh, there's an item thing there. During the, the conversation with Harriet Jones, I'm probably going to figure out exactly what to do with that gate. Out of me way! Oh, look, this door is miraculously open. Oh my god, someone stabbed her with a Y. Why? Because you gotta. That was pretty poor. What's this? No, this. Small bag of junk. Me. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Intern? Excuse me. <laughs> You're gonna be rude with her. If you continue shouting, I'll have you restrained and gagged. Understood. How <laughs> <laughs> brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I know I'm all Harriet about Jones. you, Harry Jones. Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. Oh, I have to do rat in the hospital quest. Investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. Don't make me slit your vein, lady. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches, greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Debauchery. Hawkins, Brannigan's, Debauchery. Horse, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. I'll never see her again. Until now! Miss Jones. Now. Well. Oh, there is more questions. Have you noticed any suspicious comings or goings? Well, hi it there. Would be a great uh, deal easier eight. to make a list of How things unsuspicious Welcome to the channel. in this house of charlatans. 
Come now, Miss Jones. Surely it's not that bad. Eh, not too bad now, well, thanks for asking. How are you getting no on eyes? yourself? This hospital accepts all manner of souls, regardless of origin. The proper sick cannot heal. We're kept sickened by the refugees. Everyone here is very capable. I have not seen any instances of unprofessionalism. Thieves and murderers, the lot. <laughs> People have hey, gone now, missing here, you know. In fairness, I wouldn't mind Poof, being a little bit drunk down myself as well, so. If you could just tell well, me... I do have work tomorrow, so probably not the best idea. It's terrible to Hangovers during work with a pain are, uh, in my chest, not ideal. Coughing up blood, well, thank you and for I the get awfully well. tired. Wouldn't be so bad. Like, I will lost follow my you back. I see. No one comes to visit, you know. Not even my own flesh and blood. I'll come and visit. Oh, whoops. I kind of cut that dialogue off a little bit uh, short. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. So am I on the right quest then to be doing that thing with, uh, what's his face? Succeeded, succeeded. I think it's this one. Okay. Oh, you're definitely not a nurse. You are not a nurse. Wait. Oh, she's over in that room. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun game, aspects of it. Uh, I like the story as well. Um, there are parts of it which are kind of irritating, though. Good evening, and a little Dr. bit Reed. of some forced relationships as well, which I've never been a What can you of. tell me about the strange but, um, man visiting one yeah, of the nurses during game. her shift? Let Very story-driven. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fantasy. So the whole point tales. of what I'm doing right now is um, I've already played through no the whole game. You feel about her, and I'm doing Ms. a kind of a lighter difficulty and just story related her. so that I can Hate kill every character in the game. Crone alive. But to do so, I need to unlock the hints of all of these characters uh, so that their blood quality and the experience I gain from them is the highest. So she could have, have been telling the of, truth about the mysterious guess, man. In, that old witch will end up work. in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Did Do I not, not ask this already? To... I did ask that. Why did that appear again? Goodbye. No. <laughs> The, the the fact that she said old shrew to me again. Oh, well, no, not that one. This one. Oh, uh, pretty much everybody here is going to die. I'm going to make sure of it. Uh, where is... Brannigan is there. Oh, that's right. The other one's out there then as well. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good. E I've already gone. Do you know if any of the that. hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Oh, well, I'll believe you on that one. Goodbye, nurse. Oh, it couldn't possibly be Nurse Crane, could it? Could it be Nurse Crane? It's sarcasm, of course it's Nurse Crane. Oh, yeah. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah. I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck <laughs> em. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. 
I don't read Wait well, but thank you, I guess. I think I found him dead somewhere later in the game, because I found that free medical exam from for a nurse. Okay. Oh, well, actually, it was probably in the sewer here. <laughs> that would make more sense. No, I, I don't think I get to feed on this guy, but um, there is someone that I'll be able to save down here who um, I'll be able to unlock as uh, free food for later on. There's most of them. See, let's go here. See, most of them are four, two. He's a one, four, four. Uh, she's a two, so it's the little head there with the two. So that's your mesmerized level. So you have to have that level, and the way you get that is through your main game interactions with these guys, like Swansea and Nurse Crane and Sean Hampton. And essentially, I need to basically level it up before I'm able to eat all these people. So at the, mo at the moment, I'm just kind of farming them, if you will. Trying to get them to their highest blood quality. See, she's worth 3,000 experience now. He's worth two. But if he gets sick, then he'll be worth less. And if I didn't have all those ticks, he'd be worth a lot less. So, yeah, I'm just... I'm farming them at the moment. That's a good, good way of describing it. Oh, well, that guy's dead. Ah, well. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Which... oh. Oh, right, okay. Where's the other guy, though? down there. Oops. Yeah, essentially. So if you get the hints right, um, I think that's the boss. I think that's probably a boss fight. You make the, the food better so that you level up faster and you just become all powerful, kind of. Which is kind of where I'm going with this. Also, I'm looking to... The redhead, Lady Ashbury, is kind of a forced relationship. And I absolutely loathe it. So, I am being as rude as possible to her in everything I say. And I'm killing everybody in the hope that... That relationship doesn't happen. That's actually my, uh, my main goal in all of this. <laughs> Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep <laughs> he breath. He says that, but he looks so fucking okay. calm now. Okay, I, 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 I need to get out. I need to get out of here. He's just standing there, hands Doctor, on his gun. What are you going to say now? Me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. For now, until I, like, you know, eat you. I mean, what? I didn't... What? I'm not gonna eat you. You're safe. Fine, get out of here, Oswald. I uh, don't think there's anything down there. And I think I've gotten most sort of crap out here. He won't be up... He won't be outside now until I sleep as well. Uh, I shouldn't click there. So now I need to go to this little blood path. 
Where is he? What sort of creature is this? on a harder difficulty, honestly, this would be so much more of a challenge. I'm kind of annoyed with myself. You see, I played it before on the harder difficulties, and now I've set it to the story Here's mode. Some because I, I, I thought that it would be grand, you know, kind of I a, really must find her. close enough to at least medium. You know, and it's nowhere near even close to medium. It's too fucking easy. I just wanted a less frustrating game, and I somehow managed to miss that. So those things usually a couple of hits from them. Well, I am higher level as well. I'm level nine, but still, it's still much, much easier. I don't like it, and I can't change it. I kind of wish you were able to change the difficulty in the game mid-game, but can you... Did I just go in a circle? I did. Oh, almost too far again. Yeah, right? Um, yeah, and I can't change the difficulty. So I'm kind of stuck doing this and I don't want to restart. Because I've kind of put too much work into it already, and as I said, I've already gone through the whole thing already on the harder difficulty. And I don't really want to go through all of the suffering and torment of some of the story, early story in the game again. <laughs> But it means that this stream is going to be a really quick stream to get to the end of it. It's just the, the story that's going to make it slower. And then I can get on to things, because obviously uh, there's Dying Light 2 which is coming out, and then there's Horizon coming out, and then there's Elden Ring coming out. And I kind of want to play all of them whenever they're out, so this at least means that I get to finish this up and maybe play a little bit of Dying Light 1 or Horizon Zero Dawn. All my players need to refresh that. So at least I'll be able to get to play those kind of quickly. I know, right? Um, they said, they came out and they said that it was, what, 500 hours? And that's inclusive of all of the side quests and stuff. So I'm extremely excited for all of that. I honestly cannot wait. The first one was great, but uh, I think the story at the end kind of dragged a little bit. And uh, the Q Q QTEs, the quick time events, to finish it off were a bit meh. So hopefully they, they don't do that again. Oh really, where are you from? I'm proud of them as well, by the way, just because they actually made a really, really good zombie game that I actually thoroughly enjoyed. Oh, Poland, chest, extra mash. I don't speak very much now, but uh, I speak a little bit. Very, very little bit. <laughs> I'm from Ireland, by the way. Yeah, 
almost there. More and more of these bloody leeches every night. Aye, but the guard recruit more and more every year. Over there! It's one of them! Ow! Wait, what the? I would also say as well, big fan of uh, the Witcher game, by the way. Oh wait, what's this? A Witcher 4, really? Nice. I was <laughs> you post you you posted that just as I was saying as well. I am big. I like uh, Witcher 3 a lot. So I did uh, so much so that I played it like about three times in a row just to get the platinum for it. Um, I, I have to play the first and the second one again. I, I kind of like the TV show, the first season, but I think I'm not really fond of the second season, if I'm to be honest, unfortunately. I think it, it strays a little bit too much. Whitechapel. This neighborhood is There's linked somehow to the to kind go? Lady Ashbury's blackmail. Kind Lady Ashbury, First, would you fuck off with her? Let's find that? this Petrescu fellow. She's not kind. God. I hope you did not see that. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. <laughs> I know it was so bad. Um. I don't, I don't do know what to assistance? say really, Please. like, I mean, Feeling the first episode was good, I really liked the first episode well, actually, there you go. well after that it was just, Very funny. like, they, they really, um, Goodbye, young man. they really screwed up a I'll lot of characters, alley, worse than a week <laughs> some more good than evening, others up. I'm afraid, you don't seem well, oh. I'm just that giving medicine to these guys, so I am, um... yeah right, Vesmir, I thought, I they really, really did him an injustice, so they did. Uh, Eskel as well was nothing like he was supposed to be, and I think that, I think Eskel's character was more of what, um, I don't know, it was like much more irrational than what he normally would be, and very rude, whereas Eskel in at least the game is a much more polite kind of role model, at least you could kind of look up to a little bit. And now, we're not even going to get to see the, uh, yeah, he, he should have been, uh, Lambert should have been more like Eskel, portrayed more like Eskel was. Um, and we're not going to get to see the, um, I don't know, The Witcher 3, the, the scene where they're all drinking. And I know it's probably not in the books or anything, but it's just hilarious where they all like dress up in the dresses and everything like that. It's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> like, uh, and I mean, look, I understand that they want to create their own story and, you know, all of that stuff, but they can do that through uh, bounties and stuff like that, you know, uh, through, sorry, hunts and all of that stuff. Witcher contracts is the word. Sorry, I'm watching, uh, whatchamacallit, um, with the bounties, Jesus. So I'm getting mixed up. neighbors, for Christ's sake. But uh, they could have done it through me, the Witcher contracts. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist. <laughs> I know. I'll the best the mission I'm not a game. journalist. A doctor, you say? Uh, I'm skipping stuff. Now. In this Sorry. Part of town. Really? But still, here I am, Dr. Jonathan Reed. But they could have had like obviously the first Peterson episode son. have it as the, the episode that they had, and then and I don't remember asking for your you know, you have service, eight sir. episodes, so they could have had maybe four or five of them being, we'll say between training and witcher contracts things that they can create witcher contracts for and then just have the story sprinkled throughout it <laughs> may i ask what you do around here i'll do whatever i want and sometimes even more now sod off according to you physicians are scarce in this part of town why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? 
I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town this does guy have quite is a really trying to pick a fight. Would you say it's justified? Fancy schmancy Look clothes. at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before <laughs> knocking him out. <laughs> All right. Uh, this. Yeah, I. It makes me sad thinking about the TV show now. You know, and even like you think about the monsters that they put into it, and they weren't actually the monsters that are actually in The Witcher. They're more of things that have been portaled in by Siri through the monoliths, which aren't, from what I've heard, in the books or anything like that as well. So it's just literally 99% of season two is fictitious uh, in The Witcher world. It doesn't exist in the books or in the games. It's just. You could have not put any of it in, and... Have you heard I of a know. nurse named I Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine, and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I'll know her. One of the I should probably put in my summary of the video around. that yeah. for 15 minutes there is me complaining nice about the witches. I, the migrants. <laughs> I offered to give her hand, but she said my reputation... Uh, are you going to play um, uh, Dying Light 2 as well? Goodbye. Yeah, and the monsters also managed to kill something like 20 witchers in one go, and there's only fucking two of them, like... And they make the, the witchers look like Welcome, they're pathetic. Sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Oh, I feel like Doctor. complaining more about this. Interesting. <laughs> I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Yeah, I've pre-ordered it as have well. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane. And I'm really, really excited about that. Thing. And Horizon and Elden Ring. Some crafty foreigner, February's going to be a great month. Uh... Sure, blame the migrants. Oh, God. Yes, <laughs> she's a nurse. And quite a good one. What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea... Cranny you, something like that. <gasps> no. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for Your free. Your big rectangular oh, head irritates me. Cut, but no, Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Yeah, God of War as well. When is that out? That's another one on the list of ones that I want to actually uh, pre-order and get as well. Business. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once Let's and for all. see if I can get Joe in the camera here. No, can't. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever, madness, something like that. Did Where they did this bite you? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. I Have you think been I'm hurt? going to no, pick up that box. But that's only because I ran like cream. hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I box tell you. Not even able to speak God, anymore, just that. screaming. Um, I think I asked all the personal questions I can to right. trade. Uh, I think... I'm gonna need a bunch of those. Oh, that's understandable. You're probably, what, 3 a.m. or something like that at the moment? So, no, have a good night. This and uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the, the comments and everything as well, and the conversation. You again? It's what always nice to talk time? to like-minded people. 
How did you become the local bully like... everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Oh, shit, I need to... Because I haven't checked on any of these and I do want to get these right. So, let's see, Joel... Peter... Sen... Vampire... I don't... I'm not sure if his any of his answers actually matter, but... Uh... Oh, number two. Okay. Wait, which one's number two? You could have refused. Most people don't right. become thugs when unemployed. This is a choice you've made. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons. And that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Yeah. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Oh, really? Uh, Goodbye. Yeah. I know. Right, Barrett, where are you? Where did he go, actually? Where is that direction? I'll let you go. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your... I'm grand, thanks very much. Joe's a friend. Joe of yours, Peterson. Wasn't he? He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I'd known Joe for Ooh. years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away... Yeah, you'd have to be a good boxer with a name like Colossus, stop wouldn't he? Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. Uh, hmm. I don't want to fuck this up, so I'm going to call him a coward. Taking out your anger on others is nothing but cowardice. And Colossi are quite famous for tumbling down. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. Oh, it didn't really matter. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against the wet boot boy. I will stand against them. Anyone that I meet on the street, I will probably um, treat their illnesses, and I will try and get their hints right, and then I'll eat them. Goodbye for now. It's, it's the slow vengeance. The slow, tasty vengeance. Oh yeah, the priest. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. <gasps> Father Tobias dad? is always is that you, to dad? mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You're a bit short to be my dad. You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Uh, Do you know this Nurse one? Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. Why, is she the devil or something like that? So, you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Oh, I forgot you're an absolute gobshite, sorry. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance <laughs> in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. 
And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. Quite a but judgmental prick, if you Blinded ask by me. Science as I am. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. I honestly cannot wait until I eat this guy. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of the decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? <gasps> the beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting <gasps> the flesh and the heart of men. Oh. With my own eyes, I have seen them. Those minions from the abyss. Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Fighting Cleansing people. fire. Oh. Oh, well, that's not good. Tell me, Tobias. What exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Um... I think... To... But where do you put the limit? Purification by fire has proved useful, but where do you stop? Burn the clothes? The buildings? The corpses? Worse? Your, your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. A small-time Torquemada. The Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool? Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. Oh, okay. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Well, Go on, I suppose I'm I can spend a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. <laughs> As a doctor, you must be aware of the decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. I have heard enough. I have heard enough. Goodbye. Oh, wait, what? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not done with you Mr. yet. <laughs> uh, have you, you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a How, How's my face looking? My son. Whew, I've seen better He's days. So I sent him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic? As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. Oh, oh, bring in those Coolio lyrics. Gangster's Paradise. Very smooth. I have heard enough. Yep, see you later, Dr. Nutbag. Uh, 
I have a bunch of quests to do here. So that's their one. So he needs two, he needs one. Not doing too badly. Can't do hers yet. What is hers? Oh, you have to wait for tomorrow for it to show up. I need the braille box for him. So might as well do that one and retrieve Barra. Oh no, that, that's an easy enough one. Hello there, Papa. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. Hopa. But be quick, though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals. But I don't like you asking questions. What's wrong with my questions? Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. And I need blood. And money as you well. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger, too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. I haven't gotten that far yet. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control. I should have chosen a different one. I already chose that one I in don't my judge. previous playthrough. You play know, through. this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly, but it is not your concern, Doctor. Goodbye. Bye. Is there something up there? I thought there was. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's nope. Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. Um, bom, bom, bom. If no one stops it, this epidemic could turn into a scourge. It may kill more people than the war itself. Yes, this is another kind of war, but just as deadly. I think my battery is starting to run out. Did and what we did my not. PlayStation is telling me that I probably should hit the hay soon enough. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? 
He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. That's quite honorable of you. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll go with... That science is unable to explain the facts doesn't mean there is no rational explanation. I confess, I share your point of view, Doctor. All right, did I get any of these? No. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. I remember in my last playthrough, I never unlocked all of his. But I have a feeling that I probably need to... Maybe there's a scene with these guys where I need to follow them or something. Good evening. Change. Well, if that's the, the case... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Well, that's kind of mean. I just asked you a question, lady. Goodbye, miss. Bye. Yeah, there must be something where I have to sit down and I have to watch them. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, this is, this is just luck, so it is pure luck. What timing? Oh no, it's not working! Why are you doing this to me? Oh, she has to be here too. Oh, they're both sick. Fatigue. Fatigue. Ah, it's the same fucking thing. They're all fatigued. Yay! And you still want more from Christina? When we spent the night together, my wallet went missing. Are you calling me a thief? I don't have your stupid wallet. I know you. You're a nice girl. Can't we solve this amicably? No, I don't think so. And if you think you know me just because we shared the bed together, you're just a lousy and arrogant journalist. Ooh. All right, well, I got a hint. Nice. Finally. God, Jesus. I played the whole way through the other, like, and I never got that hint. They never went in there. Never. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Reed? Uh, no. Did you steal Clayton Darby's wallet? Tell me the truth, Christina. Of course I stole it. But I never <gasps> thought he would come back to look for it. Why did you do it? He seems to trust you. For a time, I thought he was different from other men. In the end, he just wanted to sleep with me. Same as the others. Aww. 
Perhaps Clayton is different. Maybe you two should talk. A conversation couldn't hurt. I know what I am and what people call me. I sleep with men for money. If I can accept that, why can't he? No. My future is with the ones I love, not with Clayton Darby. The ones you love? The money you stole is not for you, then. My brother is still in our hometown in Romania. I am the only one who can buy him a ticket to England. Dun, dun, dun. Tell me, Christina, is it worth risking your health and your life for your brother's safety? He's the only family I have left. I All had right, to leave I'm really Romania unlocking these hints him. now. I can't be happy until he is near me again. I understand your concern. I spent many months away from my family when I served on the front line in France. Every time I write to him, I fear I won't receive an answer. It kills me to know he is still there. Oh, um... I haven't really gotten this far, but I'll go with your take. What about risks? your life, Christina? Are you so worried about your brother's survival that you will risk your own? You think you know it all because you fought in the war. But my brother is no soldier. I know. We all understand the risks to soldiers. But we don't necessarily recognize the civilian casualties caused by these conflicts. Yes. Wars are decided by rich men who will never take the risk of being shot, raped, or maimed. Does your brother know what you do to earn the money to bring him here? Don't be simple, of course not. And he must never know. Everything will be different once he is here with me. So I'm still missing a, a hint there, but uh, I think... Goodbye, miss. Maybe I have her fully unlocked, have I? I think she, no no I'm still missing one and I think I'll get it through this guy this wise guy here one sec let me uh this is all new Something territory for me I don't know what. and you're Good never evening, gonna find out can I what. help you tell me Clayton do you really think this young woman stole your wallet Christina. Yes, I recently met her. A nice girl, despite her questionable conduct. How exactly did you meet Christina? During my investigation, I offered my hotel room to her to rest and get away from the street. And what happened? The next morning, my wallet and my watch had disappeared. I suppose that's what you get for being a good Samaritan. If you are going to sleep with a lady of the night, Clayton, I would advise you to be cautious. I can't really be mad at her, though. She's just trying to survive. She doesn't have many options. Uh, was it wise to become so intimate with a woman you were supposed to interview, Clayton? Maybe it was. But I have learned to look for the inner truth and beauty in people. I apologize. I didn't mean to be rude. What can you tell me about this woman? She is very sensitive. So nostalgic about her country. I saw her cry once because she'd lost a precious souvenir from her homeland. What was it? A scarf her brother gave her before she came to England. Why are you so concerned? Oh, the scarf, you yeah. Seem to have something I found that by accident on my other you playthrough. Make peace if I could find it and give it back to her. And that would be the last I'm hint there. she lost a scarf somewhere during her night shift. Do you know that Christina is hoping to pay for her brother to travel to England in the near future? I see. No, she didn't tell me that. But that explains many things. Do you believe she will ever see her brother again? As long as the war rages in Europe, I'm afraid her chances of seeing her brother again are slim to none. So that's Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Everything to do with him for now until I finish that quiz. Alright. Oh, there's still two more people. I would not trust that. <laughs> So is the 
guy back there, and then there's this lady here. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. For now. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Okay. Very well. I can't do anything with her yet. I actually want to... There's water that you can get. Maybe the water affects the plants here. Uh, as well as... I, I cannot enter. But... I thought I was able to. Um, yeah, I th there's water you can get somewhere. I can't really remember where, but uh, yeah, I do want to. The walls of your home will not protect you, for there is no protection against I do want to try and get it and test it out at least, anyway, because I want the plant to grow. Oh, that's right, I need fatigue for both of them. There's three, there's one, one guy's locked in the house. Oh, and then there's the sun as well, and then there's the other chap, and then there's the shop lady. Oh, jeez, I'm missing a bunch of people. But the ones that I've uh, that I've located, I've done really well on, I think. Oh, there it is. Hi there. Wow, actually the stamina really does not decrease very much as well. Surprisingly. Too easy, too easy. I wish I'd have put it on a harder difficulty. Was it not the scarf that should have been around here, though? No? Maybe I have to go further, deeper into the graveyard. I've been. I could actually just, uh, uh, the quest for her. No. Uh, no. Definitely not. Oh no, I'm way off. It's that way. Almost be in the graveyard then. Morbid. How are you? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to Good ask you a few questions. Shin on him. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nivercott, at your service. Uh, your life in London. May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. But are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. If you say so. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. Uh-huh. Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. I understand your need for solitude, but it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many friends, Doctor. And my family despises me. 
If some misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear doctor. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many <laughs> innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Yeah. Uh, no, this doesn't really matter. Now uh, see a dreadful disease. I wonder what this Peaceful. one is. Peaceful. That's quite an unusual way to speak about the epidemic. And very inappropriate, I must say. Yeah, Most people very fail inappropriate. to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Tell me, Mr. Nethercott. Why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of On life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. This guy lives for tragedy. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But ah, uh, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? Oh, maybe I'll get survives. to hear her voice Ooh, whenever know. I bite maybe her. Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Because I got the final Reality thoughts can of be the so people. dull, don't you think? In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight. But that'll the take a while. The smiles and the added hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox. The stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about. And that's what Whitechapel is made of. Right. <laughs> and nothing else I'll I can really do with him yet. Oh, there's stuff here. Hello. Hello items. Come to me. And the trash, of course. Oop. Oh, gotta go back and talk to him again. Good evening, Miss. And good evening. You don't really make a living from your scribblings, do you, Richard? No, sir, I don't. I work so hard. I put all my time, my energy, my devotion into the precise carving of words. Oh, uh... Um... When she was younger, my mother was a painter and a poet. She told me many times how poor her artist friends were and how she helped them. My parents pay for my rent, my food, and my clothes. All I have to give them in return is lies they do not believe. You seem embarrassed. Someday I hope to proudly offer my first publication to my parents. Until that day, I'll remain the failure of a son they have to support. I'll leave All you. Right. So, hint-wise, we're doing uh, relatively well. Two out of three ain't bad. Three out of four. Two out of four. Two out of three, two out of four. Eh, we're not doing great, we're not doing bad. She only has two. There's a third. Oh, yeah, that guy. Okay, so I've got to talk to him, so I know who that is. That's the, the son. Okay. That's your... Oh, that's the snake oil saleswoman. And that is her brother. Now, who the... Fuck is this? Who 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 is this?
is this again? Oh, that's the landlord, yeah, who we have to actually save. Shit, I got so much stuff to do. Right, I gotta save the landlord, I gotta get the scarf. I gotta go on the investigation for the wallet. Um, I have to, the, the, sorry, not the wallet, the box. And I need to retrieve the disciple. Well, two are in the same vicinity, so I'm gonna go and do those. Uh, then I might sweep back and rescue. Best turn around if I were you. There's a lot of stuff I'm running past sir. here. You don't tell me what to do. For I am the knight. Am I going the wrong, going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. Oh, but I do need to go this way though. Or wait, hold on, no, it was through this alley here that I need to go because there's. So I know there's something over here. I had awful trouble with gear though. Fear my hacksaw doom. Seriously, this is just so easy. Honestly, you know what? I'm fine with the easiness. This this place pissed me off so so much whenever I was here before, so I don't care. That's not who I was targeting, and you know it, game. Okay, so I got the scarf. We got her scarf. So, graveyard next, then sweep around. Large box of pills. Nice. That's exactly what I want as a doctor. Now, uh, there is a. I still have to spy on the dad that shot his son and the son. Because uh, they have a. An interaction but I'm not sure if I can actually do that just yet I might have to wait I might have to solve things with nurse crane first I think that's my trash can only I'm allowed to loot it what did I get what did I get common handle part Oh, I knew, I knew I was going to get something crap. Just you wait guys, I'm gonna be leveling up very soon. I'm gonna be leveling up a lot. Actually, yeah, what are the levels of all these guys? Four, four, three, don't know, four, five. <laughs> oh, I wanted to kill him first. He's five. One, one. So I can get these two early enough. That That's grand. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Three. <laughs> Fucking hell. These guys are all ridiculously tough to get. I was hoping for something much easier. Alright, 
Uh, for this one, I think I need to... Can I not go on that side now? Ah, feck. I need to go where Shaoshun is chilling at the moment. And that's where the, the priest's quest kind of is. So do that. And I'll swing back around. Go and rescue the landlord. And um, then I'll run over and I'll get your man's box. So I wasn't actually on this area yet. There are a few bodies. But it's good that there's a few bodies, because that means that people won't suspect me for killing everybody. Yeah, that's a lie. Everybody's going to suspect me, because I'm not exactly hiding it very well. Carnage. This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. Samuel By the Jackson. Look of his clothes. This man's a docker. Samuel isn't here. This man doesn't I had better look like follow he the blood trail. Enough. Now, whenever I first did this mission as well, I think I was level nine or something like that, and this vampire killed me with like one shot. Or maybe I wasn't nine, but I was, uh, I was pretty fucking weak. Samuel no longer preaches the good word. And I didn't have, uh, coagulation or anything. Like, I had hardly fucking anything. Right, lovely. Thank you. Oops, I did not mean to do that, but I do need the blood, actually, so thank you. Um, yeah, that way. So we'll go out the main gate. Because I need to remember now where, what's his name is, located. Also, there's something over there, if I remember right. I wouldn't say I'm fast. Ow! Bag. This is far too easy. <laughs> I've made a horrendous mistake by doing this. I should have played out on a harder difficulty. <laughs> but it is much more relaxed than I have to say. It's a lot less stressful. So I'm in a better mood playing it this way, I have to say. Because yeah, some of the some of the gameplay in this is actually horrendous, so it is. So yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. So I think I think he's in there. This area here. So that's my uh target location I guess. I don't think I've actually ever gone this way. i I probably did actually, but I don't I don't remember. Not for the life of me. What the? No. Can I get up there? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I was here unless I came in through this side. Hmm. 
Interesting. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Of course it's locked. Ah, that means I have to go all the way fucking back. Come on. I can't go that way. Can't go that way. I just have to go all the way back that way. Come on. That's a little bit frustrating. Cause it's ba it basically means that I have to be far away from my freaking... Well, not far away actually, it's not too bad. Yeah, this way. Ah, come on Dr. Reed, get, get, get moving. I realize I haven't actually, I haven't killed anybody on this stream yet. Every, it's because everybody's kind of high enough, and I don't want to. Right, I think the landlord's in here. So everybody's like threes and fours at the moment a couple of twos a couple of ones here but i haven't i haven't unlocked their their blood quality or anything yet their maximum blood, blood quality so i can't really kill them and other ones will have consequences i have a feeling and i don't really want to suffer those cons i don't want to miss out on any kills i want to kill everybody everybody's going to die on this one Absolutely everybody. Oh, that's right. I should hurry up before these vampires uh, eat this guy. Which in a sec, chap. Never stood a chance. Help! The damn strangers are attacking me! You're safe now. You're safe. Let me loot around your room while you uh, compose this is yourself frail. a little bit. Nice, you got I the need second trail bit. You probably should have been a better a better landlord, what? then they wouldn't have been attacking what happened? you. Who are you? It's all right, sir. You're safe now. Oh, a fellow Englishman. Thank you, sir. For a moment, I... What are you doing here? This place is not safe. Yeah, it's a cesspool, but it's mine. I came to collect some overdue rent. But those who still live here have gone completely bonkers. You're very lucky to be alive. Yeah, filthy immigrants. Fucking savages, every one of them. And now with this bloody fever, they're just wow. animals. You can find safety of sorts in Whitechapel. If you're quick and cautious, you'll be able to avoid the... savages. Yeah, I can't do anything for him at the moment as well. Because I'm only just after rescuing him. But I'm gonna loot. Loot, loot, loot. And then, whenever I nap, then I'm gonna learn everything about him and. Uh, drain him of his blood. Uh, 
that's for Cadigan Bates. Don't remember getting that one before. There should be another item someplace. Because I killed two of them unless one of them vanished or didn't drop anything. Usually most of them, apart from bosses, will drop stuff, so... I guess not in this instance. Down I go. Yeah, I'm probably gonna... Before my next sleep as well, I will kill Nurse... Well, Nurse Crane. So I'll wrap all that up before the next sleep. So next is to get the box. Well, maybe I should... Excuse me, maybe I should talk to the sun first. Because that's on the way anyway. The sun and also the... The sister of what's his face? True Lego. What the hell is she doing here? I thought she was back in the hospital. She's level two, I can't do anything with that. Oh, I've already been in here. Maybe she is a vampire and she's teleporting between the two places. I haven't been in here, but that's good because I can create the... I think it was two fatigues. She's fatigue, fatigue. He's got a cold, he's got a cold. So I need to make one cold as well. Well, technically two colds. Now, can I upgrade my hacksaw? That's Clay's hatchet. Not that I really need it, but. I need three of them, and then I get the next level on it. Oh, wait, hold on, I should also, um... Get the used Pruin stake up. boss fight here later on. So can I still not get through here? No, I cannot. Because I did not do what I was supposed to do. Dang nemet. Then this is fine because I get to go around here and talk to her because I haven't actually done that yet. This elixir will give you good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this I don't like epidemic? You. Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? 
Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. And you're Dr. a liar. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. You're the scammer. With your Tell me, who intrigues you most sales. in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Yeah, there's not much I can I'd really like do with her. There's not much I can really do here. Goodbye. Uh, let's see, where is the quest that is outstanding? Not hers, I can't do his. Uh... Wait. Where is, uh... So, oh, I'm missing one for both of them. Shit. I have to figure out which one to get the scarf to. So, oh, please, I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know the game. You pay for peace of mind. Uh, oh, yeah, I can... me vermin like that. I've, I've done nothing wrong. I mean, you have no proof that I've done anything wrong. You know? I mean, I know I'm chopping you guys to pieces, but you're attacking me. I'm innocent in all of this. Hi there. You're just around the corner from actual fucking vamp- from actual scows that want to murder people. I mean, you know, you've no proof that I want to murder people, as I said. So, shut up. <laughs> no, I am there. Probably something down there. I think what I'm looking for is down there, actually. Oh, we got a hatchet. Nice. Wow, that thing died. That thing really died. Like, really, really died. <laughs> Is this it? No, that's some shillings. Where the feck is this guy's thing? I could have sworn it was in here. Well, that's where it leads. I 
as it is up there and I've just missed it or something like that. Come on you box, where are you? Yeah, must be in there, yeah. sitting beside me now and she's looking at me and she wants pets and she's wondering what I'm doing. What am I doing, huh? Now, where the fuck is this box? how I cannot find it again. Is it somewhere amidst all this blood? Damn you box, where are you? Oh, but really, where is it? Missing something? I'm just getting further away from it now. It's somewhere in here. Just end of the video is going to suck. Oh, for fuck's sake, I swear to God, it's up there, isn't it? This could be the box. Louis. <laughs> A love letter from Joe Peterson's oh wife God. addressed to Barrett Lewis. Who should I give it to, I wonder? I'm obviously going to give it to the shopkeeper because uh, the other guy's been a an asshole to me uh, most of the way through. 
Also, I think because that's the, the right way to do the hint, uh, hints and stuff. How the fuck do I get out of here? Ooh. Probably should look at the map. No, I'm okay. I'm free. I'm free. I got out of there. I cannot enter. From this side. Oh, that's because I'm there. That makes sense. I'll be with you shortly. First, there is a, a couple of matters to uh, Cheap price. Good quality. Keep Come on, on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Now, let's see if I can get in here. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and Let I would me like in. to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Let Your me father in. is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Um, Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry. Looking around. Even my dreams are so <laughs> That's right, I forgot. This guy is like. He's very, very down at the dumps, this poor kid, like, very, very evil. Everything is like, oh, even my dreams are soaked in sadness. It's locked, all right. Oh, don't worry about that. I will get in there. But I need to get to a level where all three of them... Oh, he's got fucking fatigue as well. Are you kidding me? Now I have to go and craft more fatigue medicine. Half this bloody area is sick. Alright. Was so, it Jimmy? May I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Oh, Harry, sorry, Harry. Uh, let's see. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Forgive my bluntness, young man, but you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why you should I? You don't look like your father. I never wanted to come mm, here in the first place. Have a very rectangular my forehead. Decision. Look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? I don't know, there's a nice painting on the wall. You know? That, that can't be too bad, right? This place is awful, I agree. <laughs> so does blood. that not mean your situation can only improve? That's exactly yeah, what my father says. You live in a Harry, dump. You should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved in. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay no at offense, home. No offense, you okay. look almost as For old as your dad. Epidemic. I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Oh, don't worry. I'll be able to help you with that. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. 
What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Do you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? To your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. Why are you sad, then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. How was he towards you? He was not. He always offered me books. I liked books. That Goodbye, seems to be all for Is there him only for pain now. And suffering in this world? I do need to watch as his dad will. We'll go in. Good evening. Change your mind. Do you need any assistance, um, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. It's free! free I'm medicine. shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Uh, I want to find out if I should give her the scarf or whether I give the other guy the scarf. Souvenir, I think that's the name of the quest. Lord is for shillings. Ah, okay, so I don't give it to you. I give it Goodbye. to Clayton. To unlock the hints. Get rid of your fatigue first, though. Good evening. Do you need assistance? That would be nice. If you persist in investigating, thank you, sir. Uh, I found this scarf. I believe its owner would be happier to receive it from you. Dr. Reed, I may be a humble and dogged reporter, but I recognize a gentleman when I see one. Take this for your trouble. Mr. Darby, I believe your feelings for Christina are deeper than you might admit. I'm the journalist. Ooh la la. I'm the one who makes assertions. But as a journalist, you also have to honor the truth. So, what is the truth about you and Christina? I won't use the word romance, but yes, I do care for her. A lot. I hope the feeling is mutual. Ridiculous, is it not? Oh, well, I got the hints, so love is neither uh, boundless nor rules. Oh, love has neither boundaries nor rules. I thought I was reading it wrong. Love is not my field of expertise. Love stories can have tragic endings. Ooh, that's ominous. I can't say I have an opinion, Mr. Darby. Love and romance are not really my field of expertise. It's not mine either, but thank you for your honesty. I had to say Goodbye, that because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't want to have a romance with the other one, so. You look Jeez. I've got her up to, to max now. Nice. Personal question. Clayton's feelings towards you are romantic and serious. Is this feeling mutual, Christina? That is the least of my concerns, Dr. Reed. Perhaps Clayton has time to think about these things. 
but I don't. If you had time to question your heart, what would it say? That men are pigs. But it doesn't bother me as long as they pay. What a... Oh, Jesus. Poor guy. Poor guy. He's laying Goodbye. his heart out for you. And you're like, men are pigs. Gah. I need to go to Clayton and tell him to forget Good about evening. you. He's far. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're all gonna be dead soon. I mean, what? Confess Tobias your crimes! Whittaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. I can't wait to kill this guy. You are just another heartless murderer. Exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No! No! Yes! The only way yes. to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself. The proliferating sick. You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. Yeah, you do. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent a him on a vision. I wanted him to get the monkey a for dream me. dream of a dreadful and laughing Do you know queen how much a monkey is blood. worth in these times? Sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. I could buy a golden cross with that. A laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast, the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. Uh -huh. Why did you send... I s oh, I already... Oh, you yeah. Good evening. It's far. Uh, what did I do? It's just that. That doesn't matter. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. He is now. The epidemic. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. You will join Please him. Please accept this money. Your disciple, Samuel, stole from the dead in Stonebridge Cemetery. I have proof of his crime and proof of his death. No! Samuel was the best of us. So devoted, so zealous, he gave all he had for the cause. He tirelessly preached the good word. He defiled the dead with his petty thefts. That's how he financed your misguided crusade. Think what you will. When this city is saved, he will be praised for his devoted fortitude. He walked boldly into the mouth of abomination. His bloodied corpse. Your is precious all over the Samuel card. used you. That's how he'll he was an immoral crook. <sighs> if that's true, then he will be my burden to bear during this endless night. I think that is all for him. I'm not sure. I think it is though. I have had an right, how are we doing? Alright, we got all so maxed, maxed. He's still got two. I'll have to sort that out. He's maxed. He's still got one. He's maxed. These guys I need to sort out. I never sorted them out and I never sorted these out. I never sorted him out fully. He's maxed. She's almost there. I have to speak to him. I'll get her maxed. She's very easy to, to sort out. Um, oh yeah, so... Harry Peterson. Uh, where is, I wanted to look for, no, not Swanborough, was it, um, I 
think I give it to Barrett Lewis, don't I? Honestly, I don't care. I'm, I don't care how this works out. I'm gonna give it to Barrett anyway. Because I don't like the boxer. But then again, he did cheat with his best friend's wife, so... He's not exactly, uh... The best of people. What do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so fragile. Not like his father at all. Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time complaining. He's had it tough, all right, but he needs to grow a pair. What troubles him, exactly? Well, despite being his father's son, almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Barrett, you had an affair with Joe's wife, <gasps> didn't you? Yeah, I did. You deviant rascal. I loved. Rapscallion. The regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second is I never shed a tear when she died. Wow. Did you ever try talking to Joe? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own way. Do you mean... you're Harry's father? No one will ever no. know for sure. And it's better that way. And I don't believe I'd have been all that bad as a dad. I wonder Goodbye. if I can give the box to the sun, actually. I never even tried that. You... Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. Our house is small, but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you? Mr. Peterson. He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd... I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Nope. So none of it really matters, kind of. London... Goodbye. Right. Let me see if I can get the box to to Harry. Harry. Good evening, Harry. Sure. Let Even me my in. dreams are soaked with glue. <laughs> so, Jeez, I'm so, not bothered. He's so sad, like. Even my dreams are soaked in gloom. Goodbye. Yeah. No, I can't give him the box. Is there only pain and suffering? How long have we known each other? We even used to be night. Fancy. You never. I found. Let's have a look. I suppose luck is a commodity. Oh shit! I'm skipping. Here. Sorry. Yours should be properly rewarded. About this package, it's not just tools and trinkets, is it? I want to be rude or anything after your kind gesture, but it's none of your business. Sorry for skipping. Fuck. Right then. Still nothing. Alright, so there is something and I have to go in this window for it. Just I need to cure his fatigue as well though. Where is the nearest? Over there. I can't see that far. Wait, why is it doing that screen? 
this was my safe house, wasn't it? Because I need to craft one fatigue for him to, to get him sorted. I still need to talk to the other chap then, in the main quest. Sorry. Hopefully I get lucky now on the way out and that they're about to have their conversation. That would be very, very lucky. Very, 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 very lucky. So it's uh, one for fatigue. Boom. That's that then. Oh, I need to open these doors, I think, as well, because I think they're all locked, aren't they? Oh. Oh, hello there. I, uh, I didn't think that anybody was living here at the moment. Get out of my house. Well, let's see. Doesn't look like there is much else here. This way. Nothing else on these shelves. Okay, hopefully that means that this is unlocked. So then I'll go on the other side and then hopefully back to Joe Peterson, who will probably have a talk with his son. Then go talk to the other chap in the main quest, and I might leave it there then. Because I've almost... I've almost got the, the side of this all done now, I think. Oh, wait. Yeah, so that was this one. So that door was locked before, so now it's unlocked. That's good. So I gotta try out the other door then. This is actually going quite well. I'm quite happy with how it's going. I've not I don't think I fucked up. That in itself is uh, it's really positive. Did something glimmer here? Sometimes just the light flashing off stuff makes things kind of shine and makes it look like there's an item. It's kind of annoying. You know, probably one of the more frustrating things as well in this is some of the combat. So obviously I've mentioned before about the, the blood. So when you die, your blood resets to like almost nothing even if you had a full bar and that's very frustrating especially if you're going into a boss fight or something like that you know but uh, another big big inconvenience and frustration is um, whenever the other vampires jump to suck your blood it's like and some and others do like other types of grapples and stuff it's bullshit like they always like you can dodge and even if you're dodging 90% of the time, it doesn't matter. They'll still get you for whatever reason. And it's just... It doesn't need to be that way, you know? And some of the vampires later on... Jesus Christ, they're annoying. Because, um... Your, your ultimate moves don't work on them. Yeah. Your ultimate moves do not work on them. 
what happens is you'll use an ultimate move like the smoke one and it'll do zero damage to them what you have to do is you have to suck their blood immediately before using the ultimate move and then the ultimate move does damage i don't actually understand why it's never actually explained and it's bullshit maybe it's a glitch it's kind of an annoying glitch though I might have the problem on this game, this run through as well, uh, so you might see it. So I'll show you what I'm talking about then, if if it does happen, of course. Oh, come on, Joe, go talk to your fucking son, you prick. Right, might as well give him the fatigue thing and... Good evening, Harry. Sure. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. Even my dreams are soaked so, with glue. So, I'm not bothered. Uh, no. Do you no. need any me- Yes, I do. I will give you some medicine. You feel I'm not sure. Goodbye. Those interactions, they don't really matter to me. So. pain and suffering in this world. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Right. Joe's going to go into his house now. Watch. Just watch. Go on. Go on, Joe. Go on, get Joe. Get into your house. Come on, Joe, get in your house. Get in your house, Joe. Come on. Come on, Joe. Ah, you prick. Fine, I need to go this way anyway. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. <gasps> he's going to talk to his son. Yes! All right, come on, come on, come on. You gotta get around. You gotta get around to the upper Jesus window. Christ, I got this. This will be the last of their hints, at least, as well. Let's see, cause, all right, let's see. So that'll be, oh no, he'll have one more. It'll be the last of his hints then. They're finished. He's finished. These guys I have to wait for. Her I need to wait for as well because I need to have level 3 on that. Uh, Cadigan Bates. I'll get him soon. Uh, oh, I need hers, but hers is coming up. Oh, he's got bronchitis. Oh, I need to craft for that. I'll craft it once I finish this. Can you go a little bit faster? There we go. So you only hurt people because you care about me? Is that it? Don't be such a brat. I'll do what I must to provide us with food and medicine. That's all. That's all. Mum would never have let you bully an old friend like Mr. Lewis. Shame on you. Harry, I'm your father and I love you. But don't you ever speak to me like that again. What? I'ma smack ya! You're gonna beat me too! Jesus... Give me what the, what did the What did the chair do to you? That poor chair! Oh, he's such a bully! That poor chair... It's just sitting there minding its own business. 
didn't deserve to be kicked like that. Didn't deserve it at all. <laughs> right, so... How do I do this Darius thing again? I think I have to spy on him first, then talk to someone, or maybe I have to spy on... Or, or maybe I have to talk to someone, then spy on him. I can't remember which. Yeah, I might have gotten a little lost. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And where's the table? There's the table. So he has bronchitis. We gotta get him into good condition. That's not the door. That's the door. I'm not sure why the other one couldn't be a door as well, but ah, whatever. Alright, so we've got the, the healing for him. We have two people ready to pour it on over, I guess you could say. I wonder if the docks... I don't think I can get to the docks just yet, though. But everybody's healthy there, right? Oh no, he's not healthy. I need to I need to help him. Shit, why'd you Dyson? God damn it, Dyson. He's a three, she's a three. Well once I sort him out, I'll be able to get the the pub. All three of these will be able to be drained Hello there Joe You Why is your relationship with your son so difficult Harry and I are so different Sometimes I wonder if he's my own blood Seems he's ashamed to be my son Why not change that then If you used your strength to do good Perhaps Harry wouldn't feel that way about you. How dare you tell me what I should or shouldn't do with my boy? Who the fuck are you to interfere like that? Um, I want to tell him he's a bad father, but I want to make sure I don't fuck up a hint. <laughs> Let me just double check that one. Well, it doesn't look like that actually uh, affects anything. Yeah, I'm gonna call him a bad father. You're a bad father who scares his son and his neighbors, Mr. Peterson. I don't think I like your attitude, sir. In fact, I'm starting to dislike your face so much, I might try to improve it. Sir. I don't like your I'd face like to see either. You try, Colossus Joe. In the meantime, are you sure I can't be of any help to your son? I am a doctor, remember. Never. Harry's complicated, fragile, you could say. Doesn't mingle with strangers. Now leave us alone. Leave us alone. Goodbye. Yeah, see you later. I don't think there's any interaction left with, uh, with In this chap. I think I've done everything. Yeah. And you'll be one of the last Goodbye. people to die because I need your shop. So... He sells some of the more important things for crafting. Good evening, Harry. Sure. Even my dreams are so So good I gotta good. keep him alive specifically just for that. So, I'm not bothered. Personal question. There's still one hint for You and your father have him. a difficult relationship, Harry. And his Tell dad me, still has a Did hint. he ever hurt you? No. Never. My father can be brutal and rude. Violent even. But he never touched an air on my head. What is going on between you two, then? It's his job. If you can call it a job. He bullies people. Men and women we know, like poor Mr. Lewis, it's just not right. Goodbye. So, do I have other hints? No, he's still missing one. He's still missing hint number four.
Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Maybe in here? No. I must have missed something in, in the house. Even my dreams are soaked with gloom. Even my dreams are soaked in gloom. Yeah, wasn't there like a letter in here or something like that? It's locked. I remember there being something in here. Did I pick it up and I didn't properly read it, maybe? Oh, no, there we go. There we go, so that's the, the final hint. So, may I ask you... I'm not bothered. Would it ease tensions with your father if he got an honest job? Because he tried, you know. I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his thuggish activities. But I'm not sure it would be enough. Why is that? Sometimes I suspect it's me, Dr. Reed. Or it's this life. It's like I can't find my place. Goodbye, again. Even my dreams All right, are soaked and that glue. is going to be, once I talk to him, this triangle finished. You again? Most of this town is finished what do you want now. It's gone pretty well. Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet job. boot boy now. People won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll sort your gang out. <laughs> Goodbye. Take a look. Don't be afraid. Right, so now I gotta investigate Darius Petrescu's. Uh, Petrescu's. Petrescu's. Whatever. I gotta investigate him. Strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. Oh, I think he's a I bit uh, distracted now. I saw Mary's church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. What? Darius is a two. Oh, that's good. That's very good. I must good. talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. <laughs> Nearby the church they just mentioned. I've already sorted out one of them, the journalist. I'll go straight for the port first. The walls of your home will not protect you. For there is no protection against the and trickery. Oh, it's Clayton. You are blinded by your false faith! Imprisoned by your daily Oh, the fact that your man is a two is very good because I can once I kill nurse uh, crane I can kill him straight away because I'll be level two then I gotta get him I gotta get all of his answers good evening and good evening do you need medical it may I there you go there's some medication for you May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. 
A nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. <laughs> what can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities Lampoon. only require mediocre writing skills. Damn, burn! Burn! I'll leave. Did I? I don't have all of his hints, I don't think. Oh, where is he? I oh, know I do have all of his hints, but he's level three, so I won't be able to get him straight away. All right, where's? Oh, not not you. Oh wait, maybe I might have another hint for you. Hello again. Tell me about Richard Nithercott. I understand he is quite fond of you, Camellia. Short on words. Very well. I think the last hint then for her must be from Darius. No, oh, not Papa. Where's uh? No, not the priest. There's the one. Good evening, Doctor. I'll start it with you. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? Well, I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, <gasps> you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. Yeah, good job, what Mr. Darby. What do you Darby. know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes oh, I know that comes already. by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Oh, yeah, Goodbye, I've already Mr. solved that. Oh, I have to find the mailbox. Not just the mailbox, though. Well, no, I do have to find the. The fuck is the mailbox? The bin, maybe? Oh yeah, it was the bin. The content of Darius' letter <laughs> to his children mailbox. could give me more leverage to enter. See, I don't want to end her, but I mean, I want to, I want to kill her. Uh, I'm, the whole point of this is that I kill everybody. So I'm kind of, I'm disappointed that I have Darius to. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Yeah, kind of annoyed that I have to kill her on this first round going through, so. I'm cheap. Yeah, you look cheap, lady. <laughs> yeah. 
Ah, it's just frustrating that I have to kill her straight away because I wanted to leave her alive a little bit longer. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. Oh, yes, let All right, me I'll in. let you see, Dorothea. Let Don't me Don't make in. me regret this, though. Oh, you won't regret this. <laughs> Why am I laughing like this? I don't know. Um... It's locked, all right. It's locked for now. Just wait. <laughs> Darius is just watching me loot everything from his house, and he's just kind of like, this was a mistake. If what you want to I talk done? to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane? Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Did you refuse to publish Richard Nithercott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is starched. <laughs> now there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have I told agree. him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old, dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life. And I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. And I still see a dark future ahead for my people. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. 
Dorothea and I shared many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, Mr. So I didn't get any of his hints. Where is he? Oh no, I have his hints. I just didn't get one of his conversation things. Uh, let's see. Darius. Uh, in Vampire. Maybe it says, I think. I have to find something or something. I can't remember. Just reading up. Okay, what? So do she seems more. Ah, oh, why? Why? Goodbye. Damn it! Damn it! Fuck, how do I get that? Maybe it's Camellia I should have been looking up. Hold on. Um, Pier Camellia. Should never have taken up my ah, okay. One thing I didn't do on this run around Camellia was to look at the flowers. Apparently that's how you get the second hint. I got it the last time, not this time. Let's rectify this situation. Where? Oh, here we go. Hello again, miss. Melia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Hmm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Very well. Very well, but uh, I'm gonna get you later. <laughs> <laughs> good evening. And good evening. She's like one of the strongest people in this. Did you know the Mute Florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. You're a bit weird. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nethercold. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I'll leave. Right back to Darius to get his, uh, his final one. I have his three already, don't I? It's more or less just to tell him, I guess. Is it this door? I forgot which door it is. No. She's here, so I need to turn this corner here. Ah, oh, run a little faster, Doctor. Come on. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Doctor. All right. Uh, 
Alright, where are you? Yes? Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Prochesky? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. <laughs> a good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. All right, well. Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye for now, Mr. Petrescu. bad because she does a lot for this community. Crane, do you need a hand? I, the good doctor, shall give you a hand. <laughs> I need help. Hold on, I'm not, I'm not done looting yet. He's okay, I'm, I'm done looting. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily, high fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <coughs> he's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalp! Hand me that scalp! What can I do, doctor? Da, 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 boom. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Don't question me, nurse. I need a drain. Now. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I must... first suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. 
good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. I don't think it's working, Doctor. Shit, did I cure his bronchitis? We've I didn't... lost the pulse. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't cure the bronchitis. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Yes, I know. You are true to your reputation, Dr. Reed. Dedicated and precise. No one could have done more. This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. And then I will be right back. Uh, you just wash your hands. I, I need to go and uh, I need to talk to Darius. Fuck, how could I forget? Has my bedside manners. Yeah, I'll be with you in a second. Darius! It's locked. No! <sighs> God damn it. I suspect it was God more than it. intuition alone that led Stupid you to us. Thing. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. I actually For don't God's care sake, about the Dorothy, blackmail. It's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. You also rhymed. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. I know all about the hunger. But why <laughs> no. Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in oh, sheep's clothing murders the poor proper. for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? So this, the one in the blue, it ends negatively in this occasion. Uh, she turns into a, a skull, but uh most of the time the blue isn't actually too bad uh that's obviously the good option we're not here for the good option nurse crane 
There is no question that the work you've done here is extraordinary. But this dispensary is incapable of coping with the outbreak. It's only a question of days before the situation at hand will overwhelm us. I cannot allow it. It's my duty to put an end to this immediately. Yes, drain her of her blood. <laughs> I did what was right, for in the end, I saved lives and you took them. But we had so much in common, Doctor. Don't you see that? I really do feel bad for her though, because she's the best person in this game. And now that's twice that I've had to kill her by accident. Well, one by accident, and let's be honest, that was on purpose. Is there nothing else for me to... I cannot enter. Why is that door locked? What's behind that door? I want to know, I want to know what's behind that door. So they always break in, it seems. I can't open that door. Darius knows too much. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Yes, let me in. Yes? Do you need some help? Mr. Petrescu. I am very... Well, I... Free drugs. Goodbye. So, is that, uh... Is that enough for Mr. Petrescu? 2,000 experience? Yes. Yes. Oh, I can just embrace him here, yeah? The music, though. Who will assist Dorothea helping our comrades now that I die? I don't think you need to worry about that. Because she's dead, too. Mohahaha. Right, now you're just safe in here someplace. I was expecting a bit more. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh, poem. Hmm. So it was uh, the poem your man wrote that was in Darius' safe was a love poem for Camellia, it seems. Jesus Christ, I have 15,000 EXP now. I don't even know what the hell to spend all of that on. So, am I able to open this door now? Nope. It's locked. I really want to open that door. I'll have to come back, I guess, at some point. Right, I think Cadigan will have to reappear. 
Can't do anything for them until I rest. Can't really do anything with them. Right, so I'm gonna rest. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna go talk to Lady Ashbury and resolve that, then I'm gonna rest. As long as you have the money. Ah, uh, slowly but surely making my way there. Now my only hope as well is that Camellia doesn't move or something. Or leave the city or, or something like that because everyone she kind of knows now apart from the poet is gone. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Kill it, boy! Every single one of those. Yeah, they weren't really too hard on the harder difficulties either, to be honest. I didn't have much of a problem with them. Everything else, Jesus stuff, they do do way, way less damage. First thing is I didn't want to resolve the blackmail but now I have resolved the blackmail because it's the only way to it's the only way to to do it while getting the full kill on. Caught you red toothed red I would ask fangs. you to avert your eyes sir or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. And Speak I did know Dr. it. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Oh, you fucking bitch. In the end, you're what a killer. What prevails in the end, I wonder? The desire for blood, or to be of service to man? Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. I'm being as rude as possible to her. Uh... So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed. Permanently. You will not be bothered anymore by the woman. And who was this woman? If you must know, she worked under my employ as Nurse Crane. But I'll wager that's not what will be written on her gravestone. <laughs> you killed her. Is that what you consider discretion and diplomacy, Dr. Reed? I did what I thought was best, and acted accordingly. You will learn that trust is a rare and precious commodity in the Immortals' world, my young doctor. And your actions have not induced me to offer you my support. Good, I don't want your fucking support. I don't care for these questions. I Goodbye. I must quickly I analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. How are we doing on this map? Everybody seems fine apart from him, but I'll get him on the way back.
Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that category. Sorry, I really don't like Lady Ashbury. I wonder how I look right now. I look the same. I thought his appearance was supposed to to change radically whenever I bite people. I've only killed four people, I guess. Two in this video. But I'm building towards it. So now I've I'm level two. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Should you now? Uh, yes, yeah, so I need to get this up to two. I definitely have the blood for, for all of this now. <laughs> Jesus, I'm level 12 already. Uh, Abyss is a really good one, so it is. It's a really, really good one. Right, and then... Get the HP up. <laughs> oh my god, like, really? Oh, Jesus. I've, this is so much blood, like, like level 16. So that's the the ultimate as well. That's gonna be that's gonna be big. So it is. I'll get my biting up as well. that up and big thirst increase the blood absorption when you buy yes indeed like I'm level 18 now and blood capacity I'll level that up a little bit and then I'll also add a level into this I'm level 19. I wasn't level 19 until almost the full way through the other playthrough. Like, wow, 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 wow. And I've only, I've only killed four people. But then again, a lot of that came from Dorothea. Oh, I want to see what happens now. Because since I've killed a, a leader of a district. Yeah, more proof of the violence and danger that lurks in London. There you go. Give a give a good read to that now. They're in serious state still because she's dead, and uh, he's also gone. And there's three people sick now, so I'll have to heal them. She, she's a three though as well, isn't she? Yeah. Jesus, he's only a one? Good God. Gee, sorry, sneezed a little bit. This is a healthy district, even though two people are gone from it. And that concludes that. So I'm going to leave it here, and on the next episode, the next stream, we'll see if many more people will fall to my fangs. Uh, for the moment, I'm not really looking at, like, I'm probably going to have to, because what's happening now is district, this district is going to completely open. I'll need to heal the sick in both of these areas as well. 
Um, I won't be able to do much between these two just yet because he's. Uh, I I need to to speak to him. I need to have level three mesmerize level, but I can maybe figure out Cadigan Bates and Shao Shun. I can figure theirs out. She has bronchitis, and he has a cold. And what does he have? He has fatigue, so it shouldn't be too bad. And. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to have to figure out, I'm going to have to contact every single person here, save some of them, because I think there's one or two people that need to be saved. Uh, heal him, obviously. And I'm going to have to just kind of unlock most of the conversation between most of these people. But uh, yeah, I'll get there. And I just want to say thank you as well for tuning in. Uh, thanks to Hobbit for the conversation earlier today. Always nice to, to chat. Uh, I do wish everyone well. Hopefully you're all keeping safe and well. Uh, thanks again, anyone who watches and likes to stream. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye now. Good night.